Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be His kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Dearly beloved, let us come into the presence of the Almighty God, praying together as we bow our heads. Most merciful God, I confess, I confess that, that I have sinned, sinned against you. you. In thought, word, and deed, by, by what, what I have done, and by what, what I have left undone, I have not loved you with my whole heart. I have not loved my neighbor as myself. I am truly sorry, and I humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on me and forgive me, that I may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. The Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Together with a host of angels rejoicing in the Lord always, let us proclaim the Gloria in excelsis. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts. For as you always resist the proud and confide in their own strength, so you never forsake those who make their a, a boast in your mercy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. The first proclamation of the word of God is taken in the first book of Kings, chapter 18, reading from verses 20 to 40. So Ahab sent a message among all the sons of Israel and brought the prophets together at Mount Carmel. Elijah came near to all the people and said, How long will you hesitate between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. But the people did not answer him a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone am left a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophet are 450 men. Now, let them give us two oxen, and let them choose one ox for themselves, and cut it off, and place it on the wood, but put no fire under it. And I will prepare the other ox, and lay it on the wood, and I will not put a fire under it. 
Then you call on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of the Lord, and the God who answers by fire, He is God. And all the people said, that is a good idea. So Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one ox for yourselves, and prepare it first, for you are many. And call on the name of your God, but put no fire under it. Then they took the ox, which was given them, and they prepared it and called on the name of Baal from morning until noon, saying, O Baal, answer us. But there was no voice, and no one answered. And they leaped about the altar which they made. It came about at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Call out with a loud voice, for he is a god. Either he is occupied or gone aside, or is on a journey, or perhaps he is, he is asleep and needs to be awakened. So they cried with a loud voice and cut themselves, according to their custom, with swords and lances, until the blood gushed out on them. When midday was past, they raved until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, but there was no voice. No one answered, and no one paid attention. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come near to me. So all the people came near to him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord, which had been torn down. Elijah took twelve stones, according to the numbers of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, Israel shall be your name. So with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench around the altar, large enough to hold two measures of seed. Then he arranged the wood and cut the ox in pieces and laid it on the wood. And he said, fill four pitchers with water and pour it on the burnt offering and on the wood. And he said, do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And he said, do it a third time. And they did it a third time. The water flowed around the altar, and also, he also filled the trench with water. At the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, Elijah the prophet came near and said, O Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, today let it be known that you are God in Israel, and that I am your servant, and have done all these things at your word. Answer me, O Lord, answer me, that these people may know that you, O Lord, are God, and that you have turned their hearts back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell, and consumed the burnt offering, and the wood, and the stones, and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. When all the people saw it, they fell on their faces, and they said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. Then Elijah said to them, Seize the prophets of Baal. Do not let one of them escape. So they seized them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon, and slew them there. The word of the Lord. Please stand. Our responsorial psalm for this morning is taken from Psalms 40 and 54. Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord, and inclined to me, and heard my cry. He brought, he brought me up, me up out, of out of the pit of destruction, out of the, the miry clay, and he <coughs> set my feet upon the rock, making, making my, my footsteps foot firm. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear, and will trust in the Lord. How blessed, How blessed is the man who has made, made the Lord his trust, and has, and has not, not turned, turned to the, the proud, 
nor to those who lapse into faults. Many, O oh Lord my God, are the wonders which you have done, and your thoughts toward us. There is none to compare with you. If I would declare and speak of them, they would be too numerous to count. Sacrifice and meal offering you have not desired. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, Behold, I come. In the skull of the book, it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. I have proclaimed glad tidings of righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I will not restrain my lips, O Lord, you know. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great congregation. You, O Lord, will not withhold your compassion from me. Your loving kindness and your truth will continually preserve me. For evils beyond number have surrounded me. My iniquities have overtaken me, so I am not able to see. They are more numerous than the hairs of my head, and my heart has failed. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. Make haste, O Lord, to help me. Let those be ashamed and humiliated together who seek my life to destroy it. Let those who turn back and be dishonored, who delight in my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame who say to me, Aha, aha. Let all those who rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. Since I am afflicted and needy, let the Lord be mindful of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O my God. Psalm 54. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me, and violent men have sought my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my help. The Lord is the sustainer of my soul. He will recompense the evil to my foes. Destroy them in your faithfulness. Willingly, I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from all trouble, and my eye has looked with satisfaction upon my enemies. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The second proclamation, the word of God, is taken from the letter of Paul to the Philippians, chapter 3, reading from verses 1 to 16. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things again is no trouble to me, and it is a safeguard for you. Beware of the dogs, beware of the evil workers. Beware of the false circumcision, for we are the true circumcision who worship in the Spirit of God and glory in Christ Jesus and put no confidence in the flesh. Although I myself might have confidence even in the flesh, if anyone else has a mind to put confidence in the flesh, I far more circumcised the eighth day of the nation of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to the righteousness which is in the law, found blameless. But whatever things were gained to me, 
those things I have counted as loss for the sake of Christ. More than that, I count all things to be lost in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them but rubbish, so that I may gain Christ, and may be found in Him, not having a righteousness of my own derived from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which comes from God on the basis of faith, that I may know Him and the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of His sufferings being conformed to His death, in order that I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained it or have already become perfect, but I press on so that I may lay hold of that for which also I was laid of hold by Christ Jesus. Brethren, I do not regard myself as having laid hold of it yet, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as are perfect, have this attitude, and if, and if in anything you have a different attitude, God will reveal that also to you. However, let us keep living by the same standard to which we have attained. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord be on our minds, on our lips, and on our hearts as we hear his holy gospel. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew, chapter 3. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now in those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is the one referred to by Isaiah the prophet when he said, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make ready the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Now John himself had a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locust and wild honey. Then Jerusalem was going out to him, in all Judea, in all the district around the Jordan. And they were being baptized by him in the Jordan River, as they confessed their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warn you to flee from the wrath to come? Therefore bear fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not suppose that you can say to yourselves, we have Abraham for our father, for I say to you that from these stones God is able to raise up children to Abraham. The axe is already laid at the root of the tree. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. As for me, I baptize you with water for repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, and I am not fit to remove his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in, the hand, is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clear his threshing floor, and he will gather his wheat into the barn. But he will burn up the shaft with unquenchable fire. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, Cathedral of the King. 
and good morning to our neighbors, Marimar 1, Marimar 2, and uh, Shena, Shena Park. In the first reading, we see the famous spiritual showdown between the prophet Elijah and the prophets of Baal. And prophet Elijah confronted the wicked king, King Ahab, and challenged the prophets of Baal. Baal is a false god from the surrounding nation of Israel and being recognized and worshipped by the Israelites. That's why Prophet Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal para magkaalaman na sino ba talaga ang tunay na Panginoon. And the people thought that it was a good plan. As, as humans, we find it entertaining when we see showdown. Uh, weather, mapa sports, uh, like the gilas, sinubaybayan natin yung gilas, or yung mga mahilig sa arts, especially yung, yung flip-top rap battle, we love watching the showdown ng mga uh, rap artists. O kaya naman, pag may nakita tayong dalawang marites na nag-aaway sa kalsada. <laughs> we love to see showdown. As humans, one of our weaknesses is we are always tempted to walk by sight. We always want proof and signs. Sabi nga, to see is to believe. Kaya nung nalaman nung, uh, nung ginader ni Ahab, yung tao, at nalaman ng tao na there will be showdown between Elijah and prophets of Baal, people were, I guess, uh, excited or nervous Siguro sa isip nila, pareho naman silang Diyos eh. So tingnan natin sino ba talagang mas tunay na Diyos at yung mas magaling na Diyos. So prophets of Baal went first. Uh, they did their rituals from morning and they did their best. But maybe their best wasn't good enough. And we know the story, their God didn't show up. And then when it's prophet Elijah's turn, after he prepared the sacrifices, he prayed to God. He said, Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known today that you are the God in Israel. You, Lord, are the one true God. And God, God answered the prayer of prophet Elijah, and the people bowed down and declared the Lord as God. So imagine the fire came down from heaven, uh, no camera tricks, no special effects, no filters. It was a pure, magnif magnificent display of God's power and ability. But before that, Prophet Elijah asked the people of Israel a very important question. He asked, How long will you hesitate between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. But the people did not answer because they were not sure. Pero sino ba si Baal? When, when I googled Baal, uh, yung lumabas kay Google, itsura siyang tao with, with the head of, hindi uh, ko alam kung bull ba yun eh, basta may sungay. And scary. Who would want to worship a scary, a scary God? Di ba? Pero, for the nations around Israel, Baal was the rider of the clouds who brought the rains and blessed the earth. When Baal showed up, the heavens rained oil, the rivers ran with honey, and mothers gave birth to healthy children, and even the dead could be raised. I think uh, Israelites did not totally reject God, but Dinagdag lang nila si Baal, the false god, as another source of uh, blessings and provisions and even life. That's why the Israelites recognized Baal as their god. But when Prophet Elijah defeated prophets of Baal, the Israelites bowed down and declared the Lord as God. So Baal is defeated 
and all the other false gods in the Old Testament are dead. But in our present time, merong another god na naghahari-harian ngayon. And this new false god is so bold, so proud, confident, and persistent in raging war against the Church of God and God Himself. In the Old Testament, man turned to other gods for blessings. Gods, false god likes Baal. But in our time, man has chosen himself to be God. Man has chosen himself to be the master of his own life. Before, we used to honor the sanctity of life because we recognize God as the source of all life. But a few decades ago, abortion became a matter of choice. Gender identity is no longer according to God's design but becomes a matter of feelings or emotions. Yung he and she nga, nakakalito yun minsan eh. Tapos, guguloy pa natin. Marriage is designed to be between man and woman, but because of man's impulse to be the god of his own life, meron tayong tinatawag ngayon na same-sex marriage. And siguro mas worse pa, no? Man is being married to animals. For some people, it is not a big deal. Some people laugh about it. But most people boldly and proudly support and defend it. Things that used to be taboo, people are now very confident and proud to defend and stand up for. Man today is strongly pushing for things that are totally contrary to God's design and principles. But even in the midst of this war uh, that we have between who to follow, si Lord ba, o yung sarili natin, there are two things that will always remain true. Number one, God is the one true God. He alone is worthy of our worship. He is the God who created all things by the power of His command. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And number two, He is our Heavenly Father and He loves us. He continues to love us despite our continuous disobedience to Him. The showdown between Prophet Elijah and the prophets of Baal was not just a display of God's power. But it was also a display of His love, mercy, and compassion to His people because God continues to turn the hearts of His people back to Him. In our Gospel reading today, John the Baptist reminded us that we are called to prepare the way of the Lord and make His paths straight because the Kingdom of God is coming. And in order for us to do that, John the Baptist said, that we have to repent. And to repent is to renew our mind. It's not when we stop doing bad things, but that's the result of our repentance. But it means we, we used to think one way and now we think another way. John the Baptist was talking about a change of heart and mind toward ourselves and God. Do we really see God as the Lord and Master and see His principles as the standard for living? Or do we want to take His place as the Lord and Master of our own lives and follow our own will and live according to our fleshly desire? John the Baptist called us to repent. That means to have an inner change of heart and mind that gives rise to new ways of living that exalt Christ and give evidence of the truth of the gospel. 
So again, Prophet Elijah asked us, How long will you hesitate between two opinions? If the Lord is your God, you will follow Him. If you think you are God and master of your life, you will disobey Him and follow your own will and fleshly desire that will definitely lead to our own destruction. But the truth will always remain. There is only one true God, the God who created the heavens and the earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our Heavenly Father who sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, for our redemption. And He will continuously seek to turn our heart back to Him because He loves us. Amen. Please stand. Together, let us profess the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of His Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. <clears throat> Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church and for the world. Almighty Father, we lift before you your holy Catholic Church. We pray for her leaders, especially Bishop Craig and Bishop Ariel. We lift before you the people of this community, this nation, and the world. We pray for our governmental leaders, especially President Marcos. We lift before you all who suffer in body, mind, and spirit. And Father, as we, as your children, we come to you and we lift up unto you, Lord, our brothers and sisters who need healing. Antonio, Gloria, Lisa, Fer, Peng, Jose, Geraldine, Cecilia, Marivic, Pelagio, Nova, Romulo, Alden, Eterna, Eugene, Roy, Chona, Diana, Jose, Elaine Rose, Helena, Linda, Rosalind, Jenny, Eloida, Yolanda, Carlos Emmanuel, Amber Alexis, Romulus, Irene, Rosary, Tess, Alieza, Charmaine, Rose, and Grace. Give to the departed eternal rest. Grant that we may share with them in your lasting kingdom. Together, the corporate petition. Almighty, Almighty God, God and King, King our dwelling place in all, all generations, generation, owner of the earth and all it contains, it contains. Grant, grant unto us, us our allotted inheritance, inheritance we, pray, we pray, and the, the grace to build upon it, facilities in which your people being restored in your image, and ever growing in love for you, 
might become a habitation of your presence and ministers of your life to the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns together with you and the Holy Spirit one God now and forever. Amen. In your name, Sovereign Lord, we pray for those, those any who are spirit, spiteful, who may spitefully use us and ask, we ask you to bless them and us with repentant hearts and a desire for reconciliation. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I proclaim to you the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of God's peace. Peace. Indeed, the Lord is faithful. Let us come with joy in our hearts and offer our gifts unto Him. And there's no, none like him, for he alone is worthy of our praise. With one voice, let us proclaim the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above, ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, that through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become the body of Christ. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shared our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, that through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become the blood of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, that through your goodness we receive these tithes and offerings before you. They will be used in your church for the work you have set before us and for the furthering of your kingdom. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. 
Father all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. With love we celebrate his death, with living faith we proclaim his resurrection, with unwavering hope we await his return in glory. Now with the saints and all the angels, we praise you forever. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, and out of death into life. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Let us joyfully proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, died. Christ, Christ is risen, Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Remember your servants Craig, our patriarch, Ariel, our bishop, and all the clergy and all your faithful people. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church and the author of salvation. By him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we, we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts with thanksgiving. And so the body and blood of our Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. My Father, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bishop Ariel, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Deacon Dennis, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Deacon Cyril, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Architect Chin, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sister Emmy, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Deacon Benny, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's God 
and God so love God and God alone is fit to take the universe is let everything that lives reserve its truest praise for God such powerful declaration that it's really God and God alone. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you as a gladness, gladness and singleness, and singleness of, heart, of heart through Christ, Christ our, our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 